This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points, Get Free Gift Cards, Games, and much more. Try free apps, get rewards. Go to your iOS or Android browsers and type http colon forward slash forward slash f-e-a-t-u dot r-e forward slash v-g-o. Use the app, start reaping the rewards. VideoGamersOasis.com Play Subscribe Okay, um... What's going on with Yamamoto? Just curious. You find Yamamoto is closed. Okay, that's weird. Ah, uh, it's because Yamamoto is on, on the run. Or in hiding. Let's go back to the hotel. Let's get home. It's Simon's laptop. He brought along to do research. Any breaches can be handled by Simon. Let's save as the four hotel. What's in the bathroom? Uh, where, where is everybody? <clears throat> where is everybody? I'm missing something. I'm not. Look at the television. to watch television. Okay, how about police station? That may help. Oh, I have to go to the police station, of course. I want to forget that. OPD. Okay, that's good. We got we gotta look at our evidence here. Hello, I got a message saying you had some results for me. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. I called because I was able to find something in that blood sample you left me yesterday. Really? What? Well, that's the thing. I'm not sure I can tell you it's some kind of poison, but there's very little left in the sample you gave me. I can't identify it. If you were to bring me a sample of a bigger dose of the toxin, it would be, I would be able to tell you what it was and if there was an antidote. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Alright, try this stuff for size. Here, I have the leftover fugu. It's leftover fugu. Well, thanks, but I'm, I'm not hungry. No, I want you to take a look at it, see if the poison in this fish matches the poison in the blood sample I gave you. Right, of course. Let, let me see that. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Aha! Well, does it match? It certainly does. Although the blood sample has only a few traces left, there's no doubt about it. We're dealing with tetra... Tetrodoxin. Toxin. Tetro what now? Tetrodoxin. There's the poison found in Fugu. There, there's no known antidote. And even a small dose can kill you. What about just a little bit? A tiny bit of poison would cause temporary paralysis. Maybe a deep coma. Would it make the person appear to be dead? I guess so. If their breathing was shallow enough and that they were they were paralyzed, they would probably appear dead to an untrained physician. What about when the effects wear off? They would probably be confused, groggy, unable to walk very well. Almost like a zombie? I suppose so, yes. Thanks. You've been more help than you can imagine. Glad to see it be of service, although I'm not sure what I, it is I did. You may have just helped me solve the ghost murders. Oh well, in that case, you're very welcome. Alright, progress made. Save a progress. Day 4 Lab. Have anything else to talk about? Let's talk to the chief. Maybe we can get some results with it. You 
knock on the door. Okay. A voice from inside says, come in. Hello, Mr. Jordan. Is there anything I can help you with? Let's talk to him. Inspector? Yes? La uh, Yamamoto's disappearance first. I have read about Yamamoto's disappearance today in the paper. Have you got any information on that? Aside from the fact that he seems to have disappeared? No. We found no body and no clues as to this as possible whereabouts. You consider telling Yoshi your theory about him being next on the chain of murderers businessmen based on evidence, but figure that might incriminate you. So what happens next? Someone else dies, or we find Yamamoto. Lab findings. Inspector, I have some important information for you regarding the ghost murders. Go on, I'm listening. I just checked with the crime lab, and it seems that the latest Ahsoka death had tetradotoxin in his blood. Poison? Yes, the poison from fugu fish. The lab told me that giving the small nounce, the person would appear dead to an untrained physician. Which would explain why these quote-unquote deaths took place in a small village with no professional medics. But how does this relate to the murders here? The lab technician also told me that upon initial recovery from the poison, the person would be confused and easy to control. Based on the evidence I gave you with the fingerprints, I think someone has poisoned the people of Ahsoka to make them look dead. Then once they've regained semi-consciousness, they, they come here and do the murders. And nobody would think to take the fingerprints off a dead person. No one except you, that is. However, we still need to think, find out exactly who is doing the poisoning. Yeah, that's the missing piece. Good work so far, Mr. Jordan. Most impressive, you have been a valuable asset to this case. Well, I do what I can. That's all. Let's see if our progress has... Uh, day four. Yoshi. Let's uh, be on our way now. We've done enough here. Progress here, very good progress. All right, let's uh, put things closed for the hotel. What's going on here? Suddenly, you hear a strange noise coming from the alley. What the dun dun dun? You decide to take a closer look. Hello, is anyone in, in here? Hello? Guess I'm just hearing things. Uh oh, oh my god. Well, this isn't very good. It's a zombie. He's heading right toward you and I don't think he's, he, he's gonna give you a, a hug. Ah, uh, let's save our progress. As day four. Zombie. I'm just gonna see what happens when I, when, I, when, uh, when, when he attacks me. You saw the zombie coming and you had time to react, but since you just stood there, your neck is now cracked. Restore the zombie. Let's get our camera out. Ah, restore. Uh, what's to do here?
the camera on on this uh, zombie. Snap! Splash. Good work. The zombie is blinded by the camera flash and shuffles back out of the alley. Get it back here. Flash. Blinding light. Blinding light. You decide to chase after it and see where it leads you. Where's he going? He's going to the car. He's driven away. Uh, well, that was certainly a close one. You decide to head back to the hotel room. Make it back home to the home base hotel. Hello, is anyone here? Uh, yes, here I am. You alright, Mike? You look a bit shaken up. That's probably because of what just happened to me. You tell Simon all about your near fatal zombie attack. This is getting serious. Whoever is controlling the zombies knows where y'all staying. Yeah, it's a little unnerving, really. By the way, where's Alice? She said something about going downstairs to pick something up. That was about five minutes ago. There she is. Hey guys, I picked up the food you ordered for us. I didn't order any food. Did you, Ben? No, I've been out all day. Then how come someone called me from the front desk to say that our food was order was ready? Maybe they had the wrong room. Oh jeez, now I feel bad. I was so hungry I couldn't help but sne sneak a little bite. Well, I guess I'll get, take it back down, but we should order ourselves some fish too. Not a bad idea. Wait a minute, did you say fish? Yeah, why? Alice, do you feel a tingling sensation at all? Now that you mention it, yeah, a little. How much did you eat? Oh, not much, just a little. Oh, Alice! Dun 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 dun, dream world again. Subconscious. I heard you had a rough night. My friend Alice almost died. Lucky Simon and I managed to get her to a hospital in time. But I still, I still don't know if she's going to make a full recovery. Do you love her then? What? Why does everyone keep asking me that? Ben, trust me, sometimes things appear obvious to everyone except you. Stop talking in riddles. I'm not in love with Alice. That's, that's what you mean. She's my friend. Nothing else. As I already told you, this job isn't going to get any easier. If you're serious about staying on this path, I suggest as many allies as possible. You already got some decent protection, but you know the old saying, love conquers all. I don't want to talk about love right now. It's still been too soon since... Since Smellholm, get over it, Ben. I'm dead. This is the last time you are going to see me in your dreams. I'm ready to move on. You should too. She's disappearing. I'll try. Day five. All right. Moving forward in the adventure. Well, I suppose this good. The good news is all of this is what the doctor says Alice will cover. I thought there was no antidote for tetradoxin to toxin. There isn't, but she had eaten so little that she had gotten a non-lethal dose. She'll be, out of the, she'll be out of the commission for a while, though. They ran a test on the food she got, and I was absolutely full of the stuff. I should be a tiny bit more. She had been dead before we got here. I can't believe this is happening. Well, it only confirms that there is something, someone behind all these deaths and murders. And that's, that person needs to be stopped. Yeah, but I have no idea who that someone could possibly be. What if they managed to kill both of us before we can do anything about it? Best not to think about that sort of thing right anyway. 
I'm going back uh, to the hotel for a little bit. Are you coming? Yeah, eventually. See you later then. Okay. Looking at Alice in the state, you can't help but feel sorry for her. I save her progress as day five. Hospital. Take a little break, gamers. Thanks for watching me play Ben Jordan, Land of the Rising Dead by Francisco Gonzalez. Case number five, Land of the Rising Dead. We're advancing in the story. We're starting to get results. Why they're zombies, why they're murdering people. Someone is using intoxified, uh, tox tox toxified people under the uh, influence of, of a strange neurotoxin from a fish to cause um, people under cause people to cause murders we are going to advance uh, to the end of this mission and uh, next time thanks for watching i would appreciate it if you would like this video add it to your favorites leave comments below share with your friends on facebook twitter tumblr google plus all social media websites you use on daily basis subscribe to my gaming channel video gamers always um uh play theater check out the links below I'm your host, Meek Geek. Stay tuned for some more great video videos on, on Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. And a next episode of Ben Jordan Case Number 5, Land of the Rising Dead, coming soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.